Hello, this is Professor Grant Thrall. In this module, I'm going to walk you through Assignment 1 for Geography 3162. You are going to install R. You're going to install the R Commander, R Xilig, and R Excel 2. After that, we're going to create scripts that read data in R or input data into R. We're going to input a formula into R and we're going to graph with R. And you're going to then create screen snapshots of the above and submit the assignments to University of Florida's e-learning system. In your e-learning, uh, you will be presented with a screen somewhat like this. Click on Learning Modules. We're in Module 1. Uh, you will have reviewed these uh, through 1.4 R statistics. So you will have already gone through these. Also, then following 1.5 R statistics tutorial. Click on our statistics tutorial. This takes us to, uh, I think, a very nice website titled Applied Econometrics. And it has a hot link here installing our software at the CRAN website. So click on that. And so I'm going to install R. I'm in a Windows environment, and so I'm going to then uh, install my base R. I've already done so, but this is how you do it. Also, Tutorial 2. Tutorial 2, and this is uh, accessing a ver another very nice uh, website, uh, probably Mathematics 356R, uh, explains what is R, uh, has access to CRAN, and how to then start up R, and commands you enter can be recalled, so uh, commands you entered, simple use of color plots, this will give you an example of what you can do. And this is a sample of computation. So enter a formula. 2 plus 3 times 5. It's an example. Here's a sample database that you might choose to use. So here we're going to uh, graph a function. So our function is and then we're going to have a graph plot x plot y so we get this function here. Here's another example of a data set that you can use. You can copy, control, or just right click, copy, <clears throat> and go to your spreadsheet and uh, use paste. Okay, tutorial three. R. This is a nice page and it is exactly Quick R. To go through why use R, how do you obtain R, and uh, R interface. how to input into R. So use Click R to learn more how to make graphs, to learn more about 
uh, R, predictive models and so forth. Here we have then in 1.6, install R statistics. Welcome to a brief tutorial on downloading and installing R. Now this uh, video tells you how to download and install R. It is free and open source. The first step in obtaining R is to go to the CRAN website. Okay, then we have the R Commander. That's the interface. Getting started with R Commander. Getting help in R statistics. Yeah, guys. This is the second part of the introduction to R over compared. Uh, previously, what we have seen is how to create vector. Let's review a bit. And how to install R optional packages. This tutorial shows you how to install and update add-on packages for the R statistical language. Then we get into statistics with our alternative interfaces, statistics with Excel. Excel is good for row and column operations. It's uh, also, I like the pivot table, uh, particularly in Excel. Xyleg for R is a popular interface and this document tells you how to access uh, Xyleg. Installation instructions for Xyleg. So first of all, you install R. And then you install Xyleg. Download it from Harvard University. Greetings, everyone. I'm here and I'm with an update in econometrics training. I've done outside reviews for them. They're located in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So here we have our commander through Excel, Excel and Xyleg. And optional R interfaces. This is a four fee software program and then after that it's roughly $250 a year. So if you need another interface and you're interested, then this is one to consider, but also think that the idea of R is so you have a free statistics program, and this takes that out of the free realm. But I just provide it there for your information. And here are some example scripting that you can use in R. Information on jobs and geography. And most jobs in geography require that you have statistics and have the ability not just to know statistics, know hypothetically that it can be done, but that you can actually execute it, you can actually do it. And here is, then we're back to our assignment, and this is our assignment. Okay, I recommend that you use our non-live lecture class times as labs. Now, labs are optional, and that you gather with a team of people to go over what the modules are that I have on the e-learning and then together that you work on the assignments. Any assignment that you submit, any exam material also that you submit, must be done by you. 